This is uh, Professor George Adams with a demonstration on the vibration of a continuous system illustrating natural frequencies, modes of vibration, and also nodal points. Now as you can see all it is is a piece of aluminum tubing and uh, on it I have different points marked with, with tape. Now before getting into that uh, as you know, a continuous system has, in theory, an infinite number of natural frequencies and corresponding modes. But in practice, it's only the first few which are important. Now, because this is not constrained at all, there is a zero natural frequency having to do with rigid body translation. There is another zero natural frequency having to do with rigid body rotation. But the first uh, mode or the first frequency which corresponds to something other than a zero natural frequency is then the third mode of vibration. And as we know, the number of nodal points is equal to the mode number minus one. So this third natural frequency or third mode which corresponds to the first non-zero natural frequency has actually uh, two nodes on it. And those two uh, nodes are shown in black tape up here and uh, down here. Okay, now uh, what I'm going to do is uh, actuate that mode of vibration and I can do so by holding the tubing at one of those nodal points. Now why is that? Well, a nodal point would not ordinarily move in that mode. So by holding it at a nodal point, I'm allowing that mode to be actuated and at the same time, I'm suppressing all the other modes, which of course do not have that as a nodal point. As you can see, I have a very high-tech, sophisticated actuation system, which I'm going to use. And I'm going to strike this tube, and let's see what we get. Well, you can certainly hear the, uh, not the frequency of vibration, and maybe you can see it, maybe not too well, so I'm going to bring it closer now. And uh, let's see if we can see it better now. And the frequency may be too high for the video camera to uh, properly uh, capture. But uh, you can certainly hear that frequency. Now, uh, the second non-zero natural frequency has a mode which has nodal points shown by these red uh, electrical tapes. And again, I'm going to hold this tubing at one of those nodal points for that second non-zero frequency. And I'll strike it. And again, you probably can't see this motion very well. In person you could, but uh, Unfortunately, I don't think the camera will do a great job of capturing that. Let's, let's try it again. But you can certainly hear that frequency, and that pitch is higher than it was for the first mode, and uh, that's because, of course, it corresponds to a higher frequency. Now, finally, I'll try and actuate the third non-zero frequency, and the nodal points are shown by white electrical tape, and I'll support it there and strike the bar. And again, you can hear that frequency. It's fairly hard to see, actually, but uh, even in person, it's fairly hard to see. But uh, you can hear that frequency being even higher. And uh, that mode shape has what? One, two, three, four nodal points. Let's try it again, showing this a little bit closer. And of course,
course, if I hold it at an, another point, that vibration is completely suppressed. Okay, so that's a uh, demonstration of the frequencies, modes, and nodes in a continuous system which is unconstrained.